the cloths that I use for cleaning don't have a proper place. Um, their storage location has just become put into the cup holder, so let's give them a proper place. And there we go. Nice tall wheel attachment put in place. Freed up the cup holders and standard locations. Thank you. One of yesterday's improvements was this sign being put up for the Wix pallet. This has sort of turned into a pallet storage area, but unfortunately there can be a bit of confusion as to which one of these pallets is the metal pallets and which one is the broken pallet. So let's fix that. There we go, much better. Now anyone using this area can see what the specific spaces are for. Thank you. These signs are one of the first things you see when you come in. Uh, they're all over the place, so let's straighten them up and get them looking good. There we go, signs all straight and in aid of leaving things better than I found it. I just had a little straighten up in the picking area and I've also cleaned the floor, just making things look a bit more nice. This is our sleeper storage area. It's become a little bit of a dumping ground with stuff that doesn't really belong here and things left over from projects before. So let's get a bit of standardisation about the place and improve this. And there we go, just a little free us of the area, getting rid of anything that's unneeded. Uh, I'm gonna look tomorrow at getting some labels made for these for visual control so that anyone using them knows what they are. This is an improvement on improvement. The one I had here before we'd stuck on, but it kept falling off, driving me crazy. So Jake drew it, Stuart folded it, Phil cut it, Marius powder coated it. So thank you everyone. And this one is much better now. So we've screwed it on. It's not going anywhere. Looking really nice. Could have screwed it to the bottom of the desk as well, but we decided to go on top here. So my orders will fit in there lovely. Thank you very much, everybody. Here's the before with the new desk. Some double-sided tape and stuff up there we don't need. And a really dirty backboard that I'm gonna clean up now. This is the after, it's much cleaner. I've cleaned all the little accessories. I took off this much tape, but it's turned into a much bigger job than I realized, or time consuming, so I'm gonna come back to that another day. We've got a few bits and pieces that we need on the board, as well as an extra to the cleaning station that's in progress. I'm gonna keep improving this throughout the days. Thank you. To help JP in learning how to do Kanbans and how things need to be changed between categories, I've made this little sheet here so it explains what each category is and what if what they must have. So I go into my border, it must have a stock location, but it shouldn't have a minimum number or the next number in the title. I hope this just helps out. And yeah, just a little bit of information help. Okay, so we have this trolley that's beside our frame over packing desk, and we have card wraps that we use for the frame over. Now, when they come back round, people often don't know where they go because there's nothing to say where each size goes, so we're going to improve that. Okay, so I asked Jake and he finally done the labels for us, so now we've got labels on each wrap, the card strips, so when they come back round after being restocked, you can know exactly where they go. I'd also put a purple crate down here for the jiffy bags as well, just so they are in a crate rather than just being loose. When uploading the thumbnail to you through this video, it'll open on whatever folder I had last open. So to do it today, I'd have to go to marketing, I'd have to go down to the big corporation, and YouTube, and then into its thumbnail, then the month, it come out a lot quicker. So a very easy improvement to do, I'm just going to drag that into my quick access. I would love to have a stream deck button, but because it's within a file open window already, it won't work, so this will have to do. That's a great job, great job everyone, thank you very much.